I remember Dr. Nathan um, saying to me, Scott, it's going to be tough. Push through. Whatever you do, push through. It's going to get tough, but just do it. My name's Scott. I'm 56 years old. I was diagnosed with um, head and neck cancer, HPV-related cancer, when I was 49 years old. She found it at the base of my tongue, and she said, I said, well, cut it out. And she said, we can't. It's too far gone, uh, stage three, almost stage four, that I would have to remove three quarters of your tongue. To get to it, I would have to break both sides of your jaw to, to open your mouth wide enough to get in. And I'm a college professor, and I live by speaking, and that would have ended my career. But she said the good news was that HPV um, cancer was very responsive to chemo and radiation. So she said, let's try that first. And so that's what we did. So far, it's been successful. It was a 50-minute uh, radiation treatment a day. The, the worst part, really, was the chemotherapy. I had four or five treatments, and each time I had a, a treatment, it was like every two weeks, I ended up in the hospital. My jerk was 12 hours, and so, and then they, I had to stay in the hospital until I kind of recovered from it. The first time, I think it was three days in the hospital. My last one, I, I was in over almost two weeks trying to recover, and that, that was the hardest part. Um, they, they joke about something called chemo brain. Um, I couldn't remember my wife's name. I think providers, uh, pediatricians and things, should um, at an early age um, bring up to parents of, of young males and females that uh, HPV virus is, is out there. Um, the chances of, of their sons contracting it at some point in their life is probably greater than, than we wish it would be, but it's, it's out there. And that here's a way to prevent um, long-term uh, issues such as uh, HPV-related cancers.